In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial, you will learn how to create turn text effect. First, you will see how to apply opacity mask to grouped objects, and then I will show you how to apply roughen from distort and transform panel to create turn effect, and how to apply drop shadow effect to add depth to this turn design and make it look realistic. You are watching TNT tutorials? Let's move on! Today I will use this font. I will create new layer and rename it to button. Let's pick this color, M for rectangle tool, create rectangle, V for selection tool, let's pick yellow color, T for type tool, let's duplicate this layer, rename it to top, Change color of this rectangle. Type another word here. I for I drop a tool. Let's pick this color. And increase size here. Now let's lock bottom layer. Select top layer. Press Ctrl G to group. Then Window. Transparency. Transparency panel might appear somewhere here. Drag it to this corner. With this group selected, click here Make Mask. Then clip. Click on this icon. P for Pen Tool. Let's click on Color in right panel. And in RGB mode, let's pick rich black color. After this, simply draw something similar to rectangle, like this. One point, two, three, and four. Let's connect these points. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you enjoy TNT tutorials, support this channel right now with three easy steps. Press thumbs up, subscribe if you are not my subscriber yet, and leave short feedback. This will take a few seconds from you. And I will know that you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for your attention, let's continue. Then with this object selected, Effect, Distort and Transform, Roughen, Preview, I will use these values now, click OK. And after this, if you would like to change Roughen effect, with this object selected, Properties, Roughen, and play with these values. P for Pen Tool, let's add points to this rectangle, and play with them, to create some interesting design. I will add a few points here also. Just move points. Zoom out, hold Alt and use scroll to see if you like result. To exit opacity mask mode, simply click on this icon. If you would like to change shape with roughen effect, simply select this group and enter opacity mask mode again. What I can definitely recommend you is to watch these tutorials where I use opacity mask a lot. In these tutorials I show you some basics, some advanced methods, show you what can go wrong, explain how to use opacity mask in some different cases. So watch these tutorials and soon you will realize that you use opacity mask almost each time when you're creating something. I personally can't imagine any workflow without opacity or clipping mask. So let's continue. In opacity mask mode, we need to select this shape, press Ctrl C to copy it, return to usual mode, click here, deselect everything, create new layer, Let's rename it to Torn, 
Press Ctrl plus Shift plus V. After this, Eye for Eye Dropper tool. Let's pick this color. Swap Fill and Stroke. Object. Expand Appearance. Then Object. Expand. OK. For now, let's lock top layer. Just to avoid any distraction. Hold Alt, use Scroll to zoom in. A for Direct Selection tool. I will simply move some points just a little. You can zoom out, deselect everything to take a look at result. I usually always zoom out, even after I apply some small changes. It helps to understand what is going on. After we apply these changes, we want to hide all unnecessary parts. To do this fast and easy, let's unlock top layer, open it, pick only this rectangle, press Ctrl plus C, lock this layer again, select Torn, press Ctrl F, let's open this layer. Bring this rectangle down, select both shapes, right click, make clipping mask. And here you go, you don't need to cut or fit anything. To add shadows, let's hold Alt, drag this layer down behind top layer to duplicate it, and I will rename this layer to shadow. I will lock torn layer. Let's select this shadow layer, right click, release clipping mask. Let's pick this rectangle, increase its size, increase it just for this shape to fit this rectangle, something like this. After this select both shapes, Shift plus M for shape builder, hold Alt and simply click on this area. After this, with this shape selected, Effect, Stylize, Drop Shadow, Preview, everything else is a matter of values. I will use these values, for example. Click OK. Now we need to hide some parts of this object. Let's unlock top layer, copy this rectangle, lock top layer again, return to shadow layer, press Ctrl F, select all these layers, right click, make clipping mask. And this is not all. If you want to make this shadow look better, just duplicate layer with applied shadow. We didn't do anything, just made a copy, but we already made this shadow look more visible. You can play with opacity here. You can also click on Applied Effect, Preview, and change Blurring to something like this. After this, make this layer visible and invisible. Maybe you will need to increase or decrease opacity. Also, you can duplicate this layer. Select it. Properties. Applied effect. And change blending mode. To something like color burn or overlay. Or even play with these blending modes. Let's pick color burn, for example. Click OK. And you can see what happens when we apply color burn. If you think that this is too much, you can always decrease opacity. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below. Let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important, by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you will click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials. 
See you in next videos.